Hey everyone, you guys might have already guessed by the title of this video as to what I'm going to covering and that's none other than this criminal that we are seeing right in front of our screen, Sam Bankman Freed. He has spoken today, you know, some things that he's saying has just, you know, been all over the place, not making any sense. And, you know, I just wanted to deep dive into it and really share with you guys as to what this guy is all about and how much of a liar he really is. So let's waste no more time and get right into this. So some major news has come out today, you know, which I covered in my last update for you guys, where I stated that, you know, Almeida wallets were once again, you know, back in active status right after his bail. So coincidence, maybe? And this is the article that comes out and states that, you know, the crypto wallet associated with now bankrupt trading firm Almeda Research, the sister company of FTX, were seen transferring out of funds just days after former CEO Sam Bankman Freed was released on a $250 million bond. And you guys can see right here, you guys can see these wallets were back in uh you know active status right after his bail and you know he has come out today and said this tweet and this is absolutely funny to me when i see this he came out and tweeted this none of these are me i'm not and couldn't be moving any of those funds i don't have access to them anymore and you know number one question is how does he have access to twitter right now you know how the hell does he have access to his twitter account after committing one of the biggest financial crimes in the history of finance and he right here has right after that you know full access to his twitter account where he can you know message other um you know criminals that he's aware of that might have some uh funds uh, of users on ftx that could be selling so maybe they got the green light from spf or it was spf himself but we have seen him lie countless of times and you know this is what he continues to say I believe it's likely the case that various legit legs of FTX have the ability to access these funds. Hopefully that's what's happening here. If not, hopefully one steps in soon to do so. I would be happy to help advise regulators on this if any wanted. Guys, just read this. Let's read this again. I would be happy to help advise regulators on this if any wanted. Buddy no one needs your help with this situation anymore you've done more than enough damage you've helped more than enough you know that's uh clear sarcastic help quote unquote that i've just said but you know there's so many red flags to this guys that it's just not making sense you know is the bro system broken are they behind this are they kind of backing him in terms of this how does he have access to this? I don't get it. I just don't get it. And there's a lot of things that are happening. So we will get into that right now. You know, as far as the overall line goes, you know, look at this, guys. This is what he said in the first Good Morning America uh, interview that happened earlier, um, you know, last month. <laughs> if she's in court and you're in court and she's under oath and you're under yep. oath and you're asked, did you know that these funds were being funneled to Alameda? What is your answer? I did not know that there is any improper uh, use of customer funds. I did not know that there was any improper use of customer funds. And you've heard this from this guy himself. And this, I keep telling you, he is evil. He knows what he is doing. And he is a massive, massive liar. And, you know, you guys heard this out of his own mouth. And obviously his ex-girlfriend came out and said this. I agreed with others to borrow several billion dollars from FTX to repay those loans. And she said this. Um, this is his uh, ex-girlfriend that mentioned this, Carolina Ellison. And also says, I knew that it was wrong. The former executive told the federal judge in Manhattan on Monday in entering her guilt uh, plea, according to transcript of the hearing that was unsealed on Friday. So right here, you know, we have just seen earlier where Buddy is just coming in saying he did not know that, you know, the user funds were being uh, funneled to you know, Almeda Research. But yet we have Carolina Ellison, who was part of uh, Almeda Research, who was the head and was using these funds. And where were these funds coming from? The users. And a lot's going on. And also, you know, obviously Solana having a massive impact. And again, this is all happening very, very closely 
to his release. You guys can see Solana took a massive, massive plummet after he was released. And if I do bring out the measuring tool for you guys, since December 28th, which was just four days ago, we saw the price go down all the way, uh, you know, about 30%. So what caused this? Why did Solana dip down 30% so close to after he was being released? Why wasn't Solana dumping when, you know, he was still in custody? Does that make sense? Do not, like, obviously the overall dots are once again connecting. And it all leads to that one criminal, man. And that criminal is Sam Bankman Freed. And I can't wait to see how January 3rd or 5th, I forgot which exactly date that is, how this plays out, guys. I cannot wait to see how this plays out. You know, his testimony, I'm going to be, you know, tuning in, kind of keeping you guys updated as to what is going on. But, you know, he knows something and he still has access to these funds. And I don't understand why the prosecutors are not taking, you know, light to this. You know, why they're not taking this seriously because the overall facts the overall evidence is right in front of our own eyes we're seeing you know wallets that was connected with this guy's name you know almeida research as well as solana having a massive impact you know and again this is all happening when he was released and wonder how this guy's christmas went with um you know just living with his uh, multi-millionaire who knows billionaires my parents uh, that might have billion dollars worth of user funds locked up in somewhere uh, that you know no one really knows about. So we, it's really going to be very interesting how this entire situation plays out as we go into the year of 2023. I think it's going to be very massive and can affect the entire cryptocurrency market. And uh, you know, as far as Solana goes, guys, look at what's happening with Solana. Solana was seeing some massive, massive, uh, you know, sell pressure coming in. And I believe this FTX guy, this Sam Bankman Freed was behind here. Does this not remind us of Terra Luna Classic where someone was just playing with the overall order books and, you know, just dumping to, um, you know, break the overall USTC peg to m have a massive collapse? Does that ring a bell? Doesn't everything start adding up now? Can't really wait to see how this thing plays out and where you know this entire thing uh situation leads but this guy's a criminal he needs to be jailed that's it 100 percent jailed you know the overall body language the overall the way this guy talks it just states that he is behind this and he needs to be held legally accountable and also he's over here tweeting about uh you know this was not me i don't have access to these funds but why not talk about you know you being behind uh, being one of the biggest investors for um, Robinhood and also uh, not only that purchasing about like how much 500 million dollars worth of Robinhood um, you know stocks and not only that investing in Dave with users funds great why not talk about that but let me know down below what your uh, overall thoughts what do you guys think about this or do you think this overall situation is headed in 2023 and do not forget to like comment and subscribe I'll see you guys tomorrow it's been crypto ZX and peace out